So uh, lenvantinib, as you know, is a small molecule inhibitor of the VEGF receptor family, as well as the FGFR family, uh, receptors one through four, as well as the TIE2 uh, access. And lenvantinib was recently approved globally based on the REFLEX study, which was non-inferiority versus serafinib in frontline advanced liver cancer. And serafinib uh, has held its own in the frontline setting. Uh, no drug has ever beaten it, but the REFLEX study was powered to show non-inferiority, and it did that uh, with a hazard ratio of about 0.92, and the upper limit of the, the uh, confidence interval was 1.086, which is within the non-inferiority margin. Uh, we do see that lenvantinib increases the response rate of tumor responses compared to serafinib. It doubled PFS. Uh, its toxicity profile is a little different. Uh, it has more hypertension, uh, reflecting its potency as a, a VEGF inhibitor than versus serafinib. Uh, but it has less hand-foot skin syndrome. At the end of the day, overall survival was equivalent, and I think when we look into incorporating lenvantinib into our treatment paradigm, we're going to have to look at some patient factors, uh, you know, comorbidities and things like that, their underlying liver disease, but also tumor factors. You know, there are patients where we do want a response in liver cancer, uh, even though responses historically haven't necessarily correlated with survival. Uh, there are patients whose livers, you know, have a high tumor burden and, you know, a response may be important for them versus just stable disease, which is what we mostly see with serafinib. And the two drugs are different mechanistically. Uh, we had shown some biomarker work at ESMO last year, and we'll be updating that in a few weeks uh, at ESMO in Munich, that shows that this engagement of the fibroblast growth factor access uh, does differentiate the two drugs. And, and there's been increasing work uh, about the importance of FGF family inhibitors in angiogenesis resistance, but also work we've done with others that show that FGFs, specifically FGFR4 and FGF19, its ligand, are important in driving proliferation in a subset of liver cancer. So, uh, you know, it's a very exciting time now to have a new drug, and it certainly becomes a potential backbone partner for new combinations in Frontline, and, and we've seen some data at ASCO with pembrolizumab in combination with lenvantinib that looks very intriguing as well.